But hold it up to the camera. So, so we can see. This is the champ. Let's go, champ. I'm enjoying it. Let's go, champ. Liam agree. How you doing, man? Pleasure. Pleasure to meet pleasure, you. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Um, we didn't get a chance to talk to you in London last year. No. When they came over. Um, you are the champ. I don't know a lot about you over here, though, mate. I know. I'm a, I'm a fight fan, so I know a lot about you. Yeah. But we don't know a lot. It's like you turned your back on us. I'm only joking. <laughs> so talk to us about the journey that took you to America very quickly. Um, saw you win the championship. And how are you gonna how are you gonna boost your profile over here? Well, as it happens, yes, you're right. I have been gone from Eng from Eng England for a long time. Um, I just went there chasing just to get better, just to train. Uh, I never knew that I was going to sign for Bellator and I never knew that I was going to become world, world champion. I've been one of those guys who will just pack my bag and be like, you know what, I'm just going to go over here for a few weeks and see what happens, you know. I'll go get a job, I'll do this, I'll do that. Now I found myself in fighting. Um, I'm currently in the middle of doing a UK tour because, you're right, nobody knows me over here. So I'm, I'm getting myself around as, as much as I possibly can. I've been doing seminars. I've actually got a book, uh, a story, a, the fight, a story told by John Leo has just been released. Uh, I've done a couple of book signings over here as well, so I'm, I'm making my way around the social media, I'm making my way around England, I'm just trying to get more people to, to, to know who Where are you from, originally? Originally I'm from Kings Lynn, Kings Lynn in Norfolk. And what, what, were you a fighter before you left or did you, did you gravitate to fighting over here? Um, no, I was always fighting here, I was never really like a trained fighter or anything like that, I'd go into the pubs on a weekend and see how many people I could pick a fight with and uh, yeah, I was one of those. Uh, one of those. I was one of those. Um, the recession hit. It was. It was. I worked on a building trade, and, and and they got hit hard, you know. So it was like I needed to find work. I couldn't work indoors, man. I'm not an indoor person. I'm always getting in trouble for fighting. So I was like, you know what? Why not turn this around and not stop stop getting in trouble for fighting and see how well I can do actually fighting? I came over to America to train. And, and, the, and the rest is history, man. And the rest is this history. Well, yeah, you're 11 and 0 champion, as I said. What was the injury that stopped you from fighting? It's, it's my knee. Right. My knee. I hurt my knee. What? What? what, what, what don't want to divulge exactly what it was, or just, just the meniscus and, and, uh, and whatnot, and ligament problems. You know, it's just how long? How long are you out for then? Well, I've been out for six months, yeah. and now I'm back in the gym. So right. it's like, again, I don't want to. It's just one of those ones. I'm not going to push anything. I can. I'm, I'm lifting heavy. Uh, I'm getting there where I need to be. And um, when I'm when I'm when I'm back, I'm going to be back with a vengeance, man. What do you make of the state of the light heavyweight division in Bellator and across the world? Um, in, in the light heavyweight division in Bellator, it's very exciting. You know, they have uh, you have King Mo, Linton Vassell, you have Phil Davies. You know, there's, there's a lot of people in in the division, and I've got my eyes on them all. You know, I, I'll. I've never backed down from a fight. I've never turned one down, no matter how many people there are. It's, this is what I do, and, and, and I cannot wait to get back in there. And when I fight again, whenever I fight, I want to fight very closely afterwards. And again after that, and again after that. I did the first what, five, first year was five fights in one year. That's good, I, I can do five fights in one year. That's a, that's a lot of fights. It hurt, it hurt me, man. So that's why I'm happy with this little bit of a rest. What's your background? Because I can't tell. You could have been Mediterranean, you could have been Asian, you could have been mixed race, you could have been a lot of things. Where are you from? Um, right, so my granddad was West African, Sierra Leone. Uh, my other granddad, Scottish, um, and uh, they're English. I was born in England, so there you go. It's a nice little mix. It's a nice little mix. Big for big old fan base to, to tap into, potentially. Yes. yes. Potentially. Well, I have to go visit Sierra Leone next, so. Have you not been? No, that's, uh, that's definitely on my list. That's on my list. What's your strengths and weaknesses? I mean, uh, you know, Royce Gracie has been quite complimentary about you. Said you're, you know, one of the most um, serious jiu-jitsu guys in your in your weight division. Um, you, you know, your work on top or you know underneath is or from the bottom is, is is saluted and lauded around the world. What do you see as your strengths and weaknesses? I, I see the strengths of my jiu-jitsu. My jiu-jitsu is my strengths. I see my strengths as my my stand-up. I'm able to fight. My strengths as I've been fighting since and getting punched in the face, so you kind of get used to it after a little while, you know. Um, and I think my weakness is definitely my wrestling, which I would say that half of the other critics out there would be like, oh yeah, Liam's wrestling sucks, which it, it doesn't suck. I stopped that. I did defend that takedown. I went for a guillotine on Tito. Well, no matter what anyone... Is that what you're going to say? That's what you're sticking with, yeah? I'm sticking with it because it actually happened. I stuffed the shot, then I went for a guillotine. I don't know why. 
having that big lump stuck on top. It was a stranger. <laughs> it was very How long are you contracted with Bellator and do you see yourself fighting for another organisation? I mean, with no disrespect to where you are at the moment. Um, listen, Bellator look after me, you know, and uh, I, have no, I have no visions of anywhere past Bellator at the moment, you know, so. so you're good where you are? I'm very good. All right, well, listen. Bellator's looking after me, they show me love, they're bringing me to my home country to, to fight. They're introducing me to yourself. What's your name? Joe. 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 Yeah. They're me introducing me to a lot of the guys like you, you know, so it's, man, it's, it's, it's great, it's great. Where can all our viewers follow you? What social networking handles are you on? I'm on social media, right, so I'm on Twitter. I'm, I'm only just getting used to this Twitter thing, right? So it's Liam underscore, the little one at the bottom, McGeary. Then there's the Instagram, which I'm, I'm taking a lot of pictures. That's Liam McGeary one. And then my Facebook is Liam McGeary. I'm on that a lot. All right, well, listen, good luck with the future. Thank you. Um, I hope you and Linton do battle for that belt. Yes. We're looking forward to that one. I've already got Scott to commit to bringing that fight over if it does happen. That, that fight has to happen. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Well, listen, good luck, yeah. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks. 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 Thanks.